I wanted to share today a few tips that I have and some of the goings on at BT Pharmacy Consulting. Um, this Friday, I wanted to share my first podcast interview. It was on uh, the Pharmacy Podcast with Todd Yuri. We talked about the enhanced MTM model and how pharmacists could market to their patients and incorporate more MTM in their day-to-day -day services and also what the future could look like for MTM. Another uh, point that we kind of touched on that really deserves an entire show is pharmacogenomic testing and that is something that our, I am really passionate about and I see uh, pharmacists being able to take that and, and own that because so much of, of our training had to do with um, metabolism of, of drugs and really we are the experts when it comes to the, the cytochrome P450 system and that's what pharmacogenomic testing is. It's people getting a, a DNA profile and finding out whether they're poor metabolizers or, or super rapid metabolizers or whatever of certain medications and um, it helps us kind of extrapolate that data figuring out should they be at a higher dose, should they be at a lower dose. So that's a big opportunity uh, for pharmacy that I see in the future. Um, one thing I had a meeting with the Arkansas Care Transitions Coalition and they are trying to identify ways to decrease adverse uh, drug event and hospital readmissions. One of the things they had talked about was using antimicrobial stewardship and an idea that, that just came to mind, the hospitalist was saying, we have trouble figuring out a start and a stop date when someone gets put on uh, anticoagulants or, or antimicrobials. And I just thought, wow, what an opportunity for pharmacy that we could, when we fill that prescription, we could so easily say, take this antibiotic once a day for seven days until this such and such stop date and it would be such a simple thing for us to do and it's just it's something that that I've never even really thought of that when we're looking at reducing adverse drug events and decreasing admissions due to overdose of opiates or anticoagulation uh, mismanagement and also uh, infection rates affecting readmissions, that that's something that pharmacy can really step up to the plate and own. So that that's kind of something I wanted to share with you guys. I, I had a, a great week and I encourage you to uh, go listen to the pharmacy podcast episode if you haven't yet and subscribe to the pharmacy podcast. You can do so and um, using that the little purple podcast app on your iPhone if you're an iPhone user and uh, I also if you haven't to keep up with our blog posts I also uh, shared an update on CMS's enhanced MTM model uh, with the Pharmacy Times article and if you want to keep up with with uh, all the goings on here and all of our future offerings, go to btpharmacyconsulting.com slash newsletter and sign up to be a subscriber and join our community. And I love to get feedback from community members and it's so great whenever everyone sends me questions because I feel like whenever someone sends me a question about something that it just it can help so many other people if I can answer it in the form of an article or a blog post or a podcast and um, that's that's my mission here with BT Pharmacy Consulting is to really help you to advance the practice of pharmacy and to to get uh, the impact in front of as many patients as we can so uh, until next time thanks bye